What happened to your school bad boy or girl? My biggest bully in middle slash high school ended up going to prison. Funny thing though, my mom worked in that prison, and they got to know each other. When he got out, he found me and apologized. He later got a job at a local Taco Bell, and whenever I came in he would always add a bunch of free stuff to my order. I haven't seen him in almost two decades, but I know he became a dad. I actually hope he's doing well. Edit, just looked him up. Had three kids, a wife, and is a contractor now. I'm glad he turned it around. He's an eggplant farmer. Literally. Edit re, all the questions of how one would be a figurative eggplant farmer, I have no clue. What I do know is if you asked me what I do for work and I said I'm an eggplant farmer, your first thought would probably not be that my field is aubergine husbandry. Drugs, drugs and brain damage. In middle school there were these twins who were both really cool. They had a band, one did drums while the other sang and played guitar, skated, occasionally got in trouble with the law but for really small things. A few months ago I was taking a bus when I saw them get on. They were clearly homeless and one of them kept whining to the other that he needed his fix. He passed out and his brother half-heartedly puked into his hand. Eventually the bus driver saw one of them, I shit you not, stripped down to his boxers to get some non-puke stained clothes on and told them to get the fuck off the bus. Told my folks about seeing the twins, apparently they've been in and out of jail for years. Other guy I did karate with in middle and high school, and was a sweet guy who had a bit of a temper, and was a bit of a troublemaker. I saw him on the streets, we were both in our mid-twenties, but he looked like he was pushing 40. He talked slow, one side of his face trooped even when he smiled, and he walked with a limp. I later found out that he was an on and off heroin addict, and had been in enough fights that he was permanently brain damaged. I'm fairly certain one of the prominent and popular bad girls at my school ended up as a prostitute. A few years after graduation she kept posting about how people should come get massages at this sketchy spa she worked at downtown. She also kept posting about her modeling career, but all the photos were behind a pretty steep paywall, so I'm pretty sure that was porn. Anyway, I read in the news one day that this spa she worked at was raided by the cops, and the owner was arrested for running a prostitution ring. She suddenly stopped posting after that. It's funny in some aspect just about every classmate of mine was a bad kid. Many went on to college or have kids, but many others have struggled. Out of 55, 12 have died. We graduated high school six years ago. Two bad boys, both brothers, a few years apart. The younger one started some sort of legitimate business, think Roy from the office, and seems to be doing extremely well. The oldest is literally homeless and constantly begging for money on Facebook. It's really sad. Got a girl pregnant, abused or killed the baby, and he's still in prison 12 plus years. He's not the best younger brother, but what can you do? School bad boy when I was there was my older brother. Drug dealer, played in a metal band, general smartass and asshole. He flunked out of college after two semesters and has been waiting tables since then. He turns 30 this year, and the girl he's dating now is the first one who stayed with him for more than six months. She's super cool, actually, but like five years younger than him. They have a couple dogs, smoke a lot of weed, and play a lot of D&D. Last I heard from him, he was escalating a feud with his neighbor by putting a plate and a half worth of loose, cooked spaghetti in her mailbox. A rumor went round school that he was messing around with a 13-year-old at 16. She fell pregnant, he got done for statutory rape, her parents pressed charges, and he went to juvenile detention, he married her anyway once she was legally able to get married, although I believe they divorced shortly after, and he became a grandfather at 31, presumably because the daughter they had also fell pregnant at a really young age. The one that comes to mind forced his ex at gunpoint into his car, and then drove to another state. Cops eventually caught up with him, and then he shot himself in the car. I feel really bad for the girl.